I'm taking this time out to congratulate the 45th president of the United States of America, and that is Donald J. Trump. Congratulations, Mr. President. You prove the world wrong. A lot of people were saying negative things about you, and they're still doing negative things about you, Mr. President. But I personally, as a Jamaican, a Dayati Jamaican, I congratulate you on your presidency, Mr. President, and I hope you live a long and fruitful life. Now, this is my reason, and I know a lot of people all over the world is going to pick up slacks for this, but this is my reason for loving and honoring this 45th president. Mr. Trump, you love your country, sir. You speak highly of your country. And that is something I want to transfer to Jamaica, to my Jamaican people, that they should think highly of their country. Throughout your inauguration speak, Mr. President, you speak of this love for the United States of America, and I applaud you. Jamaica, we must take a page out of Donald Trump's book and love your country, because in 1961, another president, a great president that was loved by black people all over the world, said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Ain't nothing wrong in loving your country, because I love my country so much that I actually gave up a life of luxury living in the United States of America to come home to my country to play my little part in helping to make this country the greatest country on the planet Earth. Jamaica, ain't nothing wrong with having that pride, that civil pride and dignity in your country. We have lost over 80 people since the start of 2017. That is not demonstrating pride and love for your country. We need to start loving each other some more. We need to start respecting each other some more. And we need to start putting country first. Irrespective of your political affiliations, one should never ever carry forward anger, grudge, hate, and evil thoughts in their minds from one person to another. We should all love each other, respect each other, and learn to work with each other, irregardless of our political preferences or any other preferences we might have. I'm guaranteeing you that every American citizen that really and truly loves their country, they're gonna rally behind Mr. Trump. They're gonna give him 110% Mr. Trump just didn't become the president by talking that he wants to be the president. He became the president by speaking truthfully to the people, how he felt a situation should be addressed, how he expect his country to be run. He spoke from his heart. And guess what? Even though he did not won the popular votes, but the most needed votes he got. And that's why today he is the 45th president of the United States of America. No, I'm not a politician. I'm not a religious person either. I'm a very spiritual person that believe in the Almighty God. I believe also in the teaching of the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Our black president, former black president, Barack Obama, I congratulate you, sir, for making us proud but we would have been even prouder, Mr. President, if you had given us our leader free from blemish, free from charges, malicious charges that was applied to him. And we're talking about the right honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey. You could have left a legacy that is greater, that could never be struck from the records. Look at your Obamacare. It is slowly being struck from the records because it was said or it is said that your Obamacare is the greatest plan for black people. Now I've read a lot of books and I've read a lot of newspaper articles about the legacy that you left for your country, especially black people in the United States.
United States of America. Not too much people are happy with you, Mr. President. Not too much people are happy with what you did. And they think they could have done even more. And that is why today, I personally want to take this time out as a vlogger to pick up Donald Trump because he spoke for what he believed in, he lived for what he believed in, and guess what? Today is the 45th president of the United States of America. Now I had the opportunity to live in that great country, but I'll tell you this in leaving, no country on the planet Earth means anything to me than my little piece of the rock, Jamaica. I love this country from the core of my heart. I love my country from the core of my heart. And I want every single Jamaica scattered all over the world, that wherever you are, send a little something back a yard to some of the people who need it. Send a little something. Don't wait till your loved one are passed away and then you send roses, then you send the biggest casket. But when they were alive, and you could have done more, a whole lot more, you didn't do it. So Mr. Trump, I wish you and your wife, Melania, and your family all the best, Mr. President. And I want you to prove America wrong, sir. Just like how you prove America wrong that you could win the presidency. I want you to prove them wrong that you're going to be the greatest president that ever ruled the United States of America. The 45th president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. I salute you, sir, just like how I salute my country, Jamaica. I love my country. I would never want to live any place on the planet Earth but this beautiful country, Jamaica, we love ourselves, we love each other, and let's put Jamaica first. Let's put Jamaica first. That doesn't mean we cannot have our differences, but our country must come first. Jamaica, nowhere, no better than yard. A big storm says. <laughs> love my country bad enough. Yes, I am. Nah, no matter what, now, let's go.